Why Isaac? Mm -hmm. Story of my life. I guess we were always such good, we were very good friends growing up. He's probably the one person that always has known me the best, even when we were younger. We just always were able to talk to each other about everything and anything, so kind of just someone I always felt comfortable with. When we first met, it was um, April of 1997. I was in eighth grade, she was in sixth. I wouldn't know, I wouldn't say if this was when we quote, quote, met, but it's when I first saw her with her little sixth grade attitude and those those shades and kind of giving me an attitude, but I said hi. So for a few months, she had been definitely on my mind. And then fast forward to that summer. So we were at this conference. He's very good friends with my brother. So my brother was standing with his, his group of cool friends. They were the cool kids. And I was the, the new one coming, not knowing anyone. And so my brother introduced me to his friend. So I had to act cool, like I didn't care, you know. So I would say I acted like I didn't care, but mm -hmm. this one over here definitely made an impression. His cool New York attitude. Dude. We're from Philadelphia, New York. They're kind of known for their, a little bit of their attitude. A little bit, a little <laughs> he swag. He was the cool kid with the swag, or at least he thought he was the cool kid with the what? swag. I was actually really good friends with his sister, and he's really good friends with my brother. So just our families were pretty close. So. We would see each other a lot and just as friends. Mm -hmm. He was always the, the comedian kid, always trying to make a scene, really just, you know, just trying, trying to, make to you show laugh. off and trying to make, you laugh. make me laugh. But. Um, so I guess we kept in touch a lot. AOL screenings, email, <laughs> life, yeah, before life Facebook before and Facebook. cell phones. No cell mm -hmm. phones. I had to call her up on the landline and, That's right. and hope that one of the siblings that liked me picked up the phone <laughs> so we'd probably plan out like phone calls like months in advance or weeks in advance like I'm gonna call you on this day and make sure you're home and make sure you did all your homework and <laughs> then we went to college and we stayed friends stayed in touch yeah well right before you went to school no, we're, no, we're not talking about, we're not talking about prom no. okay no, we won't talk about prom we won't, we won't say that we were prom dates <laughs> Our friendship lasted through um, college, so then I went to school out here in California, full-time training. Mm -hmm. A year later, she went to school out here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After I graduated, waited around a year, and when she got out, then we started our courtship. When we were in school together, and I mean, I know how he felt. It's kind of obvious, so. I would say one thing, obviously our relationship was lacking before. I mean, we were friends, but it was that kind of spiritual connection. And then both going to the training, we both definitely just took that time to grow spiritually. So, and both our, our own separate paths, my own with the Lord and His own. And that was actually something that really struck me about Him, is all the years we've known each other, I had never seen Him like this when I went to the training. And that was probably the main reason why I decided to give it a chance. Just seeing how he had grown spiritually and how much he really loved the Lord. So I think this time we just put the Lord first in our relationship. And from best friend it turned into love and he always makes me laugh is probably the one thing that I would say. No matter what, he always finds a way. Even when I'm mad, it drives me crazy because I want to be mad for a little bit, but he always finds a way to make me smile, make me laugh. I've loved her throughout all the different stages in life as a friend, loved her as a friend, and loved her as a best friend, and now even like loved her as a family friend. That's as, <laughs> as close as family friends can get. And now, creepy. yeah, a little creepy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now I'm ready to, you know, make this, this next step. Mm -hmm. I love her as a, my compliment, my mm -hmm. wife. You want to tell him what Craig said? How you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> good good friend, good brother. He just told me one day in fellowship, um, how you know is when you're just tired of dropping them home, tired of saying goodnight, 
and uh, I just remember pretty pretty vividly one night um, we had a, we had a great time and uh, went out to eat and it was just just a regular night but it was just it was a regular awesome night mm -hmm. and then I just dropped her home and, and I, I didn't want to I didn't want to say good night I didn't want to say goodbye mm -hmm. I didn't want to say I'll see you tomorrow mm -hmm. so anyway I think it was for me for sure it was one night I just realized okay it's time to go ring shopping mm -hmm. <laughs>